Five years ago, I came to talk to Wendy Vero. We met for the first time. We talked about building a research center to help the uh, communities here. And uh, one of the premises was that uh, building a research center will help to bring new physicians to the area. Welcome to the Gateway Rural Health Research Institute launch party. Located in Seaforth, the heart of small town Ontario, Gateway's purpose is two-sided to attract healthcare professionals to a much needed area and to conduct clinical research on the health issues that affect rural Ontarians. The whole idea and the whole plan here is that we bring better health to our rural citizens in my region. And it's really fun to meet an equal passionate person about her rural community and their health care. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me honour and welcome Dr. Brad Casey. Gateway has partnered up with the UK Centre for Excellence in Rural Health in Hazard, Kentucky. Leading the UK Centre is Dr. Beretta Casey. We first met when they found us on the internet and they came down to have a visit with us to see what type of Centre for Rural Health that we had. And we found that we were so similar in nature as far as chronic disease, the need for rural research, the need for rural workforce initiatives, that they kind of became our sister centre and we came up to visit with them. What we are trying to do is develop other centers for rural health and to divide our state into regions. And the reason we want to do that is because 80 out of the 120 counties in Kentucky are rural. So the majority of our state is rural. And it's very difficult for one center for rural health that is actually stationed over in eastern Kentucky to be able to serve all the rural areas in our state. So we, we are working to develop four more. Um, Gwen and a number of the people in the community uh, wanted to see something up here in addition to what we had as far as the medical clinic and the hospital. We want to reach both, like all counties here in Perth, Bruce and Gray, because they all share in various ways high incidence of, of chronic health problems. Uh, it's only right that, you know, when we've got the rural population here to take advantage of that. Currently, there is no very little clinical research taking place in, in rural issues. There are academic people working very hard on, 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 on working on rural health issues, but there are about 9 million people living in small rural communities. Therefore, it should be, it should be more a priority. But when it comes down to community-based research or, or research on rural health issues, we fall behind other countries like Australia, or United States, and some other countries. And that shouldn't be. In rural communities, they have higher rates of heart disease, stroke, diabetes, obesity, hypertension, chronic lung disease, and many other problems as well. Those are just a few examples. Well, for the family health teams, there is no doubt that the research will make all the teams much stronger because we'll provide data that makes them understand uh, the importance of different areas. What is the point of doing a project on diabetes if you, if you don't have a high incidence of diabetes in your area? And so consequently, better use of healthcare dollars for these programs and uh, or more efficient use of, of healthcare dollars. And our, our healthcare will be better for our, our patients and our people in the area. And there's a lot of unique people around Seaforth that think outside of the box or here in East Community. The small group of us just kept on pushing for what we thought would be a unique uh, experience and, uh, and something that was brand new. And it benefits the community as better productivity so yeah businesses can expand and it's all part of the whole, should be part of our lifestyle now. The, the level of community support there is for this concept and by that I mean actual financial support. If you look at the facility where the Research Institute is housed, that's, that's built and owned by the municipality. If you look at some of the programming dollars that are going into things like Health Kick and Gateway, those are local dollars provided by uh, a, you know, a local development trust. We all recognize that you can't have a healthy economy if you don't have a healthy population and the key to that is having access to health care. If you look at the types of jobs, these are research jobs that are being created in this area. Those are very high skilled, high paying jobs. Uh, I think that will lend itself very well to the, to the local uh, economy. And 
in the bigger scheme of things, what, what makes this an ideal economic development project is, is it's taking something in our community, which in this case was uh, a rural population with high rates of diabetes, high rates of obesity and stress, and whereas most communities would say these are barriers or detriments, we've kind of turned that on its head and said, wait a minute now, these are actually assets. If we have universities or researchers or practitioners that wish to deal with the rural population with these, with these healthcare characteristics, why this is the place for them. And that, in my mind, is the real miracle of, uh, of this opportunity and how it's come about. It's turned the whole notion of what we have here on our uh, ears.